Ever wondered if your dog is really into you or just into the treats you're handing out? You're not alone. For years, researchers have been trying to uncover if our dogs truly love us. Turns out, most of them agree on these seven signs, and some of them are not what you'd expect. Diving straight into number seven, prioritizing only one thing ahead of you. Your furry best friend seems to have eyes only for you. Except, well, when there's a big juicy steak for them on one side and you on the other. Tough choice, right? Yep, when it comes to the pecking order of love, you're right up there, just maybe a smidge below dinner. But here's where it gets interesting. Studies have shown that some dogs actually get more kicks from a hearty, who's a good boy, than from a mouth-watering meal. Yep, you heard that right. For some pups, praise is the ultimate treat, while others demand a balanced diet of adoration and snacks. So, what's it gonna be for your four-legged friend? A pat on the back or a pate snack? Now, I know what you're thinking. My dog would sell my grandma for a slice of bacon. And you might be right. But remember, it's the little moments after the bacon bits have settled, the cozy, head-on-your-lap kind of moments that truly spell L-O-V-E in doggo language. If your pup sidles up to you for a cozy, snuggle post-feast, it's their way of saying, you're almost as awesome as my kibble. Stay tuned as we uncover another surprising way your dog might be showing emotions for you, one that involves a whole lot of yawning. You heard that right! Not every yawn is created equal in the dog world. While we might yawn out of boredom or tiredness, dogs often yawn to relieve stress or curb their bubbling excitement. But if you ever caught your furry friend mid-yawn right after you've let out a big one, it's not just a sleepy coincidence. Science has a much more heartwarming explanation for this. When your dog yawns right after you do, it's not about being tired. It's about the bond, the unspoken language of love between you two. It turns out this yawning phenomenon is a sign of deep empathy. A way your dog is mirroring your actions, showing they're in tune with your feelings. But wait, it gets even more fascinating. Studies have shown that dogs are more likely to catch a yawn from their beloved owners than from a stranger. That's right, your yawn is special to them. Stick around, because we're just getting started, and the next one might be controversial. Number 5. Roughhousing like a bad boy. Imagine your dog launches into a full-on crazy tail-wagging freakout the moment you step into the room. While it might not be your cup of tea, especially when you're all dressed up and nowhere near ready for a tumble, this is their way of saying, I adore you. It's crucial to set some ground rules. No one's advocating for a free-for-all that ends with a torn-up couch. When your dog gets bitey, engage them in a tussle with a toy. They are allowed to tear to pieces. Actually, if your pooch gets possessive over their toys and treats, that's pretty standard canine behavior. But here's a twist. If they bring you that drool-covered ball or their favorite squeaky toy, it's not just about playtime. They're entrusting you with their prized possessions, a sign of immense trust and affection. They're essentially saying, you're my person and I want to share everything with you, even if that everything is a slightly gnawed-on rubber chicken. They're not just seeking your attention. They're inviting you into their world, asking you to be a part of their joy. And who knows, maybe letting loose and joining in the fun might just be the stress reliever you didn't know you needed. After all, who can resist the charm of a dog just itching to play? And just when you thought your bond couldn't get any more adorable, here's number four, freaking out when you get home. Ever wonder why your four-legged friend goes absolutely bonkers when you walk through the door, even if you're just a tad late? Scientists are painting this picture of what's going on in your dog's mind. Every time you leave the house, you're embarking on an epic quest for sustenance, much like their ancestors did. So when the clock ticks past your usual return time, it's genuine concern for the well-being of their beloved pack leader. And the moment you step back into your domain, it's a celebration fit for a warrior returning from the hunt. This whirlwind of joy isn't just about being glad to see you. 
it's a sigh of relief that you've made it back safely from the wilds of the outside world. Now you might be thinking, it's just a trip to the grocery store, not a safari. But in the eyes of your loyal companion, it's a dangerous expedition where anything could happen. That tail wagging, jumping, and yes, even that slobbery kiss are all signs of a deep-seated relief and affection. They're not just happy you're home. They're over the moon that you're safe and sound. If that's not love, I don't know what is. But wait, there's more to this tale of love and loyalty. Number three, offering up their head. If your furry friend eagerly pushes their nose into your hand, this isn't just your dog trying to get a bit of your snack. It's akin to a friend giving you a reassuring pat on the back. They're saying, hey, I'm here for you in the most endearing way possible. But wait, it gets better. This gentle nudge may be a profound way of asking you to give your doggo a pat on the head. Common wisdom says dogs perceive a hand coming over their head as a threat, an invasion of their personal doggy space. But when your dog lets you pat their head and oh, the bliss when they close their eyes in enjoyment, it's a level of trust that's not given lightly in the canine world. If your dog shows this sign, you're not just a good owner, you're a beloved member of their pack. But here's where it gets intriguing. You might be thinking, well, my dog rolls over for a belly rub like I'm the boss, but then sneaks away to steal my socks. Ah, the infamous sock heist. It's not just mischief. There's a method to this madness. Your clothes, especially those worn ones like socks and shoes, are drenched in your scent. And in the grand tapestry of smells that make up your dog's world, your scent is the comforting thread that weaves through their every day. Studies involving MRI scans have shown that dogs' brains light up to the scent of their familiar humans. So when your pup snuggles up with your socks, it's not just because they enjoy the bouquet of eau de human, it's because your scent brings them comfort and joy. It's their way of saying, this smells like my favorite person in the whole wide world. Stay tuned as we delve even deeper into the world of dog affection. You won't want to miss it, especially if you've ever wondered why your furry companion seems to have taken up a new job as your personal shadow. Whether you're whipping up a feast in the kitchen or just making a quick pit stop in the bathroom, there they are, right by your side. And while you might think they're just being a tad clingy in the canine world, this is their way of showering you with love. Yes, your four-legged friend is not just being nosy. They're hardwired to be your loyal companion, checking in to ensure you're A-OK. -okay. Now you might be wondering, is my pup just curious? Or is there more to this? Well, it turns out this behavior is rooted deep in their pack animal instincts. They see you as their leader, their human pack member, if you will. So when they follow you from room to room, it's their way of saying, hey, I've got your back no matter where you're headed. So the next time your furry friend seems to be sticking to you like glue, remember, it's not just a quirky habit. It's their most sincere form of affection, their way of saying, I love you, without ever uttering a word. You've set up cozy spots, comfy beds, and countless nooks for your dog to rest. Yet they choose your bed to snuggle in. Why do they do this? Is it even safe to sleep with your dog? And what does the exact spot they pick on your bed, near your head, by your feet, or right on your chest, reveal about your bond with your doggo? Check out this video where we answer all of these questions and be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our doggy-loving community.